Do you always like to have an impeccable garden? Stick around because I'm going to introduce you to your ultimate ally. Welcome to the Casa Quiroga channel. Today I'm going to show you what comes in this box. The Luba W5000 robot. It's going to blow you away. The truth is that it just blew me away. It's a lawn mower robot, 4x4. And this robot is a marvel. It is designed to make life a lot easier and to make us totally disengage from the garden and always have it perfect. That's why we are going to see first its technical specifications and then a startup so that any of you will be able to install it in your home. When we see this robot, it reminds us all of a 4x4 remote control car. And is that this robot is 4x4 with an individual motor for each wheel and a very particular steering system. The steering system allows not to spoil the grass when it is making very sharp and very sharp turns. So we will not have drag on the ground but also the manufacturer gives us the option of normal knobby wheels. Apart from the steering, another thing to highlight of this robot is the independent suspension on each wheel. Another very important aspect is the cutting width, which is 40 cm, a far cry from the competition, which normally work with smaller plates. The setup and configuration is super simple, and any user can configure the installation by himself, following the simple steps that are indicated through the manufacturer's mobile application. And now, before we continue assembling the robot, we have to mount the RTK wireless station. And you are going to ask yourselves, what is this wireless station for? It is the one that will allow us to delimit the perimeter with a maximum range of 120 meters for the robot. It is very important this feature of not having to install the perimeter cable because it will only bring us more breakdowns. And every time we want to repair it, we will have to call a technical service. With this you forget about this mishap that is very common in the robots that are now on the market. The kit includes everything we need to set up this station, and above all the most important thing, the instructions. Now we are going to see the assembly of this station in a moment. We need to have a socket at hand and a clear area for the station. The wireless station also consists of a base where it will serve as a charging base for our robot that will plug itself directly into it. The power supply will be attached to a wall in this way we have there to be able to fix it and it includes the screws to be able to make the fixation in the wall. It also includes some plastic screws so that we can fix the base to the floor and does not move when the robot is put to load. All this comes properly packaged in numbered boxes following the manufacturer's instructions. It also brings us a mast to place the wireless base station anywhere on our farm. If we want, we can also fix it to the wall with screws and plugs that includes this kit. The kit includes extension cables to connect both the transmitter antenna of the robot and the charging station directly into the same socket. We will not be afraid to make a mistake where we have to plug. Each cable is different and has a different connector for each extension cable. The cables would be tucked away behind the cover so that they do not get wet. If we have to install the base station on a wall far away from the charging base, it includes a separate transformer to power the base station. This light will indicate that the charging station is ready, and this light will indicate that the transmitter station of the robot is ready. It is very important that the base station is placed in a place where there is no interference to catch the GPS signal from the sky. We will always have to place it in a clean area of trees and other objects such as a roof or something that prevents the GPS signal to reach this receiving antenna. And you are going to ask me, why does the base station need to get references from the satellites? It is like the GPS of the cell phone, we need it to have an open view to the sky so that it has a reference and can tell the robot where it has to cut. This station is very important because it is the one that allows us to have no cables, no breakages, no headaches in the perimeter. We are going to mark it ourselves from the application, which I am going to show you now, and it will be very simple, and we can establish several cutting zones thanks to this technology. As its name indicates, 
Luva AW5000. This robot will be useful for gardens of up to 5000 square meters. We will have to download the Demomotion application to be able to work with this lawn mower robot in our garden. The first thing the application will ask you to do is to register in order to be able to start up this robot. We will follow all the steps that indicate us to be able to register and thus to be able to add already the first device which will be the robot to our garden. And to be able to add this device we have to make some previous installations inside the robot which is to install the front bumper and the ignition key so that this robot can be turned on and we can work with it. Anyway, the guide that the application shows us step by step what we have to do without any loss because it is very well explained. Now what we are going to do is to connect the device, our robot lover, to the cell phone to start loading the perimeters we want in our garden. It will ask us to connect to a Wi-Fi to check the software updates that this robot has. What I did here was to share the Wi-Fi of my mobile. It is important to keep the robot updated with the latest versions so that it always works perfectly. And also the manufacturer will be unlocking improvements as they develop their software. The update will take us about 10 to 15 minutes and it is important to keep the mobile and the robot with enough battery so that this update is not interrupted. When we have it ready, we will start the program to record our route and it will indicate us that the height of the lawn is not higher than 10 centimeters and we do not have objects or obstacles in our garden which is normal because if not we will not perform a proper mowing of the lawn with the cursors that appear on the screen we will direct the lawn mower robot as if it were an electric car through our farm and thus guide the robot where it has to make the journey to mark the area to mow we will be able to make different areas and program different days for those areas. When we finish recording all the areas we want to delimit in our garden, what we will do is select the one we want to start and press start. We will also select the grass height cut that goes from about 30 millimeters to about 70 millimeters and then we will only have to press start. The robot will calculate the map and start mowing our lawn. And if for any reason the mowing is blocked by an object, by an obstruction that has the mower, just by pressing the lawn button and start, it starts working again. The most outstanding feature of this robotic mower is that it has 4 wheel drive, which allows it to move on slopes of up to 75%, which is about 37 degrees of incline. We also have available, apart from this model 5000, the model 1000 and 3000. We ship throughout Spain and provide technical support when it comes to installation, as well as serving any accessory or spare part in the future. If you have any technical or commercial questions, I leave you in the contact links in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one.